Why do 90% of food lovers say our recipes are a game changer? Let's find out. Join our tasty community and discover mouth-watering recipes that will make you the star of any meal. Subscribe now and cook with us. Start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. While the oven gets ready, take a 9-inch round cake tin and grease it with butter. Then, line it with parchment paper. This will ensure that your cake doesn't stick to the pan. Now it's time to mix the dry ingredients. In a large bowl, combine 2 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, a teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and 1 cup of granulated sugar. Stir these ingredients together until they're well combined. On to the wet ingredients. In another bowl, beat together one cup of softened unsalted butter and one cup of packed brown sugar until it turns light and fluffy. Then, crack in four large eggs, one at a time, ensuring each egg is well incorporated before adding the next. Now here's the fun part, combining the wet and dry ingredients. Gradually add the dry mixture into the wet mixture, stirring continuously. You should end up with a smooth, chocolatey batter. Remember those cherries? It's time for them to shine. Take two cups of pitted cherries and fold them into the batter. This will give your cake a burst of fruity flavor in every bite. Pour the batter into your greased and lined cake tin, spreading it evenly. Pop it in the oven and bake for about an hour, or until a toothpick inserted into the cake comes out clean. Once the cake is baked, let it cool in the pan for about 10 minutes. Then, remove it from the pan and let it cool completely on a wire rack. And there you have it, a delicious chocolate cherry fruitcake that's perfect for any occasion. This cake combines the rich flavors of chocolate with the tanginess of cherries, resulting in a dessert that's truly delightful. To summarize, preheat your oven and prepare your cake tin. Mix the dry and wet ingredients separately, then combine them. Fold in the cherries, pour the batter into the cake tin and bake. Once it's done, let the cake cool before serving. So go ahead and give this recipe a try. It's a piece of cake. Why do millions of foodies tune in weekly to Culinary Recipe Creations? We hope to see you right back here on Culinary Recipe Creations soon. Remember to hit that notification bell, subscribe, like, comment, and share. We appreciate you so much. See you at the next recipe tutorial on culinary recipe creations. Take care and bye for now.